Hello, I'm Cathy Ma and I'm presenting some researcher insights from an academic publishing survey conducted at University of South Australia. This presentation was prepared with Sarah Barkler with visualisations created by Gaurav D1. In 2023, and as one of the library's strategic projects, we conducted a university-wide survey to better understand the decision-making choices of UniSA researchers when publishing scholarly outputs, and with the intention of determining how the library can better support researchers and provide insight to further inform publishing strategies and potentially increase publication quality at the enterprise level. This included gaining a better understanding of academics' awareness around open access, including funding body compliance, how far we had advanced understanding around our read and publish agreements, and knowledge of methods used by UniSA academics to promote their research, including use of social media. A project plan was finalised in June, then permission was sought from the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research to survey the university's continuing and fixed-term academic staff, which she promptly agreed to. A short literature review was conducted and multi-pronged communications plan developed, which included emailing the research deans, promoting the survey at academic unit meetings and via academic newsletters and reports. We took a deep breath and applied for ethics approval, which provided us with some initial and conflicting feedback, recent questions and responses. Using Qualtrics as the survey tool, 12 questions were finalised, mostly being multiple choice, but with the inclusion of additional open questions. The section on article processing charges was based on a questionnaire created by Flinders University Library staff, and we acknowledged the permission received to reuse their work. In August, the survey was piloted with 10 academics representing each academic unit and academic level. The feedback was almost entirely positive with minimal changes required. In September, the first batch of survey links were sent out via email, then another two reminders via the Deans of Research over the next month. Removing the incomplete survey responses, we were left with a data set of 182 responses, which at best represents a response rate of 25%. Analysis is still ongoing, but here are a few interesting snapshots. Looking at academic units, the highest responses were from STEM and business, followed by health sciences, but staff in research institutes and teaching online staff also responded. Academic position refers to job titles at UniSA, with a good response rate for more senior staff. The last box shows how long they had been active researchers, with the smallest number of respondents with two to five years experience and who are, who are our early career researchers. We were interested in seeing who had been a corresponding author on an open access article in the past two years to gain their publishing experience here. We asked questions about reasons for publishing. They had to rank a series of statements in their preferred order on a scale between one and nine, showing the most important reason is to promote or raise awareness of findings or research and of least importance was to preserve research for the future. Regarding publishing challenges, this question was multiple choice and the respondents could select as many as they thought were relevant. 129 out of 182 respondents said obtaining grants and funding for research is the greatest publishing challenge, followed by length of publication time. One option related to generative AI and whilst it only got a small number of votes then, it might be a different number if we asked the question again now. Apart from being more aware of our researchers' publishing experience, from a librarian perspective, we experience the ethics application process ourselves, use Qualtrics, and now have a dedicated storage space for library data. The analysis has proven more complex than anticipated and is still a work in progress. However, we will be reporting to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research shortly. Going forward, we are very conscious the focus for many of our academics is on the creation of a new university with University of Adelaide, but hope some quick wins can be implemented soon. 
Thank you.